Lawyers announced today the framework of a $26 billion proposed settlement with the three biggest U.S. drug distribution companies and the drug maker Johnson & Johnson. The settlement is likely to be the biggest settlement in the unwieldy universe of opioid litigation. There are something like 4,000 lawsuits across the country brought by state and local governments that accuse companies of various roles in the opioid crisis that we're seeing, and we've seen over the last 20 years in the U.S. As part of the larger settlement, New York has also reached a settlement that would be worth more than $1 billion and ends the participation for the three big distributors in the current trial going on in New York. The money in this settlement would be divided among the states based on their population, also the severity of drug crisis that we've seen in each state. And then it'll be up to each state to figure out how it would be distributed down to local governments and other entities. The idea is that it would be all used to abate the opioid crisis. Exactly how that happens could vary by state. We've been told by lawyers in the case, that there'll be a lot of flexibility.